Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. We're going to be looking at some games here that I got in the past couple months. And I've got four games over here, but I'll save those for last. And I've got one game that I think you guys would like to see as a potential playthrough down the road. But I'm keeping it sealed for now. It's not an official seal, but it's a reseal. But I want to keep it in the ceiling until the day that I decide to take it out and start recording it. But let's take a look at these games first, starting with a seal of Tomb Raider Trilogy for the PlayStation 3. For Trilogy, I wanted to get the game again. Well, games, such it's a three in one. But on the PS3, they're remastered in high definition and has some exclusive bonus content which is basically a 30 minutes bonus video, for, I think, and avatars and theme pack, new PlayStation Network trophies and stuff like that. But basically, mostly what you're interested in is the games being remastered in HD and they would look good on the Xbox 360 as well. But yeah, I'm keeping this sealed because, well, I played the games on the Xbox 360 and I own all the Tomb Raider games, literally all of them, on Steam on PC. So I can just keep this one sealed and just play the other versions of the game which would look good as well. So, there we go. Did I play two? I know I played three on the computer a long time ago. Fun fact, if you didn't know, the first time that my family had a computer in our house was back in 2008. It was a Windows Vista, believe it or not, Windows Vista PC, and it was like a small HP tower for the computer. And I could have salvaged a lot of the parts in that system had I known about that when the motherboard went on the fritz. Because after it wasn't working, basically the only thing I got from the computer was the hard drive. Because it had data in it that I wanted to keep. And unfortunately, I lost all of it because I for some reason didn't think to not format it or overwrite the data on it. But nevertheless, the drive that I got from the computer was uh, a 640 gigabyte. Western Digital Carrier Black Hard Drive. So, that was pretty cool. But everything else, it was gone. Tomb Raider 3, Adventures of Lara Croft. That's the game that I played on the computer a long time ago. And beaten as well. And I think I played Last Revelation on there as well, but I can't remember. Here we have Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. And I got the regular label for it. This is still sealed. Basically it still has this thing on it. Although part of the ceiling is coming off so I might as well take it off. But yeah I got this for 25 bucks I want to say. I got these two around the same prices off of Amazon so that was pretty cool and they were sealed as well. This is a normal seal for PlayStation 3 and 4 and 5 game. On the Xbox side, however, you would have the uh, Microsoft seal on the, the opening part. So yeah, let's take a look inside the case because I haven't opened the case yet. Okay, there we go. We have the little voucher right there that would have the codes on the back of it, I'm guessing. Yes, it does. Mm. Although it says the code expires 2021, but the code will work. Despite the fact that some of the PlayStation codes have expired, quotation marks, I have redeemed a few codes on PlayStation and apparently one on the computer for a movie that came from a flyer of a DVD movie and it actually worked. So, 
if you see a voucher that has a potentially out of date code, try it because it may actually still be valid. I already have complete edition on the PS4, so I wanted the sealed version, but apparently not anymore, so it's just gonna be sitting on myself. I wanted the black label or potentially blue label as it is on PS4 because of the fact that in a lot of places you would find the greatest hits or PlayStation hits as it is on PS4 with the red and I didn't want that. I wanted the original blue label so I looked on Amazon and there was one there. So yeah. Alright, Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex. I got this on the original Xbox because, for one, the game would look better on the Xbox, and two, I didn't care for the PlayStation hits, the red on the PS2, the greatest hits on the PS2, so I eventually traded that in, and at another place I got this one for 15 bucks, a total of 15 or something like that, around there, but yeah. It was cheap as it is, and I do prefer a black label compared to the greatest hits on the PS2. And on the PS2 version, there was a sticker on the instruction booklet, and I don't like that. And I really don't like it because on here, there is a sticker on the Rayman Arena booklet as well. So. That sucks. I can't even take it off because it could rip part of the cover off and I don't want to do that. So this is an interesting case though, believe it or not. I showed this in my GameCube collection. Did I even show my GameCube collection? Well, either way, I have Wayman Arena on the GameCube now. And yeah, this is an interesting case. The memory card being down there, it shows you a little diagram of how to take the disc out and how not to do it. Uh, yeah, this is uh, an interesting case for sure, but pretty cool. Uh, get back in there, yes. Yeah, cool. All right, here we go. The final game that I have for the Burnout series. Technically on console, because there is Burnout 1, 2, 3, 4, Dominator, which is 5 to me, and then Paradise. And then on PSP, Portable, you have Burnout Legends. I think there was another Burnout as well on there. But I'll get those at some point. But at least on the console, I have all the Burnout games. I have Paradise digitally, not physically. But I have Burnout 1, 2, 3, 4 on the original Xbox. And Dominator is not on the Xbox. Don't know why. So I have it on the PS2 and I showed it in my PlayStation 2 um, game collection video which I'll link in the description if you want to see it. But yeah, this is the last Burnout game on the console that I have gotten in town for 10 bucks. And this is what it looks complete. You probably already saw it from there. I don't know if I'm going to be using this in this video but I am recording just in case I want to use it. I've never played this one before though. I've played two once and that's on my channel. I'll link it in the description below if you want to check it out. But I played three and four Revenge. Burnout 3 Takedown, which is the first one that I ever played. And I didn't even own it. It was my best buddy at the time, all those years ago back in elementary school. And he had a little zip case and it was full of PlayStation 2 games, movies, and CDs. It was, it was a, a long, big collection, and Burnout 3 was one of the games he had, and we played the hell out of that game. It was so much fun. And that basically became my favorite Burnout game. And then I played Revenge, and I loved that as well. And Dominator, I haven't played as much of that. I played it in 08. And a bit of 09, I think. I'm not sure, but it's been years since I played Dominator. And if you guys want to see me play that game 
either playthrough on this channel, either let's play or a walkthrough, you can specify it in the comments. I will definitely do that at some point, probably for the summer or something. The cover looks fantastic though. I mean, seriously. The cover is in excellent condition. Very good condition. So, yeah. And this we got a pawn shop for 10 bucks. I mean, it's an old original Xbox game. It's not going to be expensive, obviously, but... Of course, if it was sealed, then yeah, it would be more than 10 bucks, at least. It'd probably be like 30 or something, but... In the case of uh, this, it was fantastic condition for 10 bucks. So it was awesome. Alright, here we go. Two PC games, and then we got four more right there. Right here is Sift 2 Unleashed, limited edition on the PC. Now, there is not many places that would sell PC games. But, in the case of a store in my old hometown, there is a store there that would sell PC games. It has a Quite a few PC games, mostly Sims. Uh, there was some a Witch, Witcher 3 game there. It was there and it's cheap as hell. These two PC games I got for basically six, seven bucks. They are cheap and they are in excellent condition. This is in a normal DVD type case, but it looks great. The cover looks great. Limited edition, Sift 2 Unleashed. And I just had to pick it up because if there is any Need for Speed PC games that I see lying around, I'm going to get them to, for my collection. So, yeah. And this one. This one is interesting, to say the least. Tomb Raider Legend. Look how thick this box is. This is a thick box. We got the English and French manuals and we got the game right there. This is a big box. This is a little more like a universal PC case box like you see on those uh, universal case boxes for Nintendo games. This is kind of like that. So we go all those. Let's check out these. 